We want our relationships to match our preferences. We want to be able to say that they are good and that they're right for us. And most of all, we want our relationships to work. But most people alive today have a totally inaccurate idea of how to go about finding and creating that kind of relationship. And as a result, we fail over and over and over again. Here is the process that most people think will lead them to having the right relationship, the relationship that they want. 1. To become aware of the relationship you want, what kind of person you want, and what you want in that relationship. 2. To find a model for that relationship, i.e. an example of someone who has the thing that we want, or a teacher that is telling you what it should look like. 3. To copy or emulate that model or that person who has what you want. 4. To communicate what you want to other people and give them the example of the model you have found in order to see if they are willing to also copy that model with you. 5. If someone is not willing, move on and get rid of them so you can look for someone else who would be willing to copy that model with you. <laughs> and 6. If you and they are willing to emulate that model, it should work out. The problem is, this is not the process that a person needs to embark on in order to manifest a relationship that's actually right for them. In fact, it's not going to work. It doesn't account for who a person actually is, only what they're willing to try to be. It doesn't account for variables between you and other people, or the model you're emulating. It doesn't account for compatibility or incompatibility beyond simply having the same vision or the same model. You don't even know if that model is what will work for you and for what you actually need. You only imagine that it will. That model may not be the way to get what you specifically want. You only think it will. And it does not account for your own ability, or lack thereof, shall we say, due to several variables, to actually live up to the standard of that model. It doesn't account for even awareness of the ways that you yourself are in fact an oppositional force the very thing that you are wanting. In this case, a relationship. This is the actual process that will lead you to the right relationship for you. 1. To become aware of the relationship you want, what kind of person you want, and what you want in that relationship. Same step in the first place as the other model, but this is where we go in a different direction. 2. To become aware of what within you, beliefs, behaviors, and actions, is oppositional to the relationship that you want. 3. To resolve the root of those aspects of you that are oppositional to the relationship you want, so that you are in alignment with what you want. 4. Because of this, you will have different beliefs, different behaviors, make different decisions, and take different actions because of it. Your conscious choices change to be in alignment with the relationship that you want. 5. You assess your compatibility with other people that you come across, most especially their compatibility to what you want. 6. You enter into the right arrangement with someone based on compatibility. To give you an example of how this works, let's look at Mike. Mike wants to be in a relationship with a woman who really respects him as a man. Using this first process, he finds a model for that relationship, which just so happens to be a social media star who produces content all about divine masculinity and his wife. He emulates this man and the relationship he sees between him and his wife. He sends all of this man's content to the women he's dating, and he tries to behave exactly how a masculine man is supposed to behave, so that he can find a woman who wants to have that same relationship with him. If a woman pushes back or fights back about it, he just gets rid of her, because that's not going to work, and he just goes on to try to find somebody else where it will work. He doesn't call her again. Through this process, he eventually finds a woman who would love to try that kind of relationship. So the two of them use that relationship that they see on social media as a model, and they try their very best to emulate that relationship and do all the right things. They try to have that relationship. But here's the thing, <laughs> it doesn't go well. Each of them fails to live up to that model. Each of them has aspects within themselves that undermine their ability to actually create that ideal relationship, and so the relationship that they are in quickly becomes something that they don't want. 
For example, very quickly it becomes a relationship where he feels emasculated and controlled by her, and she feels like she's in a relationship with a little boy, which she finds pathetic. Pretty soon they're just fighting all the time, and both of them are feeling like failures because they can't seem to create what that social media star has with his wife. They are failing to live up to that model. Using the second process, and seeing the ways that he himself is oppositional to the very thing he wants, Mike realizes that he gives off all the signals of weakness. He chooses controlling women, and he has a pattern of flipping the polarity in the relationships he gets into. When he looks at this, he finds that he has to resolve this split between the aspect of himself that wants to be a man, and the part of him that really wants to be mothered. And he needs to resolve the trauma of having never really honestly felt as if he was parented. He also needs to change his belief that all relationships are my way or the highway. Because this expectation of relationships leads him to behave in codependent ways in order to stay connected in relationships and avoid that threat of separation. As a result of doing this work, Mike starts to assert his needs in relationships. He approaches different women than he originally would have in the past ones that don't have my way or the highway written all over them. <laughs> His masculine part is now the part that's leading the part of him that wants to be mothered. And he also leads all his interactions with other people with what he's truly confident in, which causes him to behave in a stronger way and to have stronger body language. As a result of all of this, he attracts very different women and gets a different response from them as well. From there, he decides to ask the woman who he feels is compatible and who will respect him as a man to be his girlfriend. While watching other people's relationships potentially will provide you with an idea of something that might actually work really well for you too, emulating other people's relationships won't work. The reason being that you're not them. You don't have the same body. You don't have the same life experiences. You're not in the exact same situation. You're not subject to the exact same variables. There are so many variables between two people, much less four people, which is really what you're doing when you're using another relationship to emulate with another person on your side, right? Because the variables between you and them are not the same, all you're looking at when you're looking at a relationship that works is a relationship that works for them, given all of their unique intricacies. Their relationship in its totality will not work for you. But some element of what they are doing, or many, might be something that works for you too. But that is still no guarantee that you will actually be able to do those things just because you've decided to do them. Which is why when it comes to finding the relationship that you actually want, the most important thing you can do is to recognize and resolve whatever about you is acting as an oppositional force to that very relationship that you want. Have a good week. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button subscribe to my channel, and consider sharing this video with your friends. You can also click on the bell icon to be notified of the next time that I post a video. I want to thank you personally for the bravery that you have to step into awareness. I'll see you in the next video.